Okay, it's still pretty early. It's nine o'clock. I just got back from my Azure standard pickup for August. I did not get too, too much, but um, I have some cold things, so I was gonna get this filmed and showed to y'all so that I can get it put away. If you are not familiar with Azure Standard, it is a natural organic food company that delivers nationwide to different drops. And you can go to the website, I will link it below, and see if they have a drop in your area. It has really great, um, really, really great products, and I've been really happy with what we've tried so far. I have a kitty in a kennel in the entry. One of the kittens that we're fostering had an abscess in its neck that burst, and it's going to the vet this morning. The lady that I'm, the friend that I'm fostering it for is coming to pick him up so he can go to the vet. So he is probably gonna cry and carry on in the background, but. I'm thankful she's able to get him in and get him feeling better. I think he just needs some antibiotics now that the cyst has ruptured. He's got like a little open wound. So it has been an adventure with this kitty. Okay. So I'm trying these. I can't read this. I'm trying to get used to these new glasses too. So I'm trying these organic cream cheeses. These are seven ounces. I bought eight of them. I thought this was a nicer size. The last size I bought at Azure was really big and so you had to cut it and it was harder to store. So even though most that you buy at the store is eight ounces, I figured this would be more convenient. So I'm gonna try that. I got a cheesecloth. There's a couple of things I was recipes I was looking at or things that I wanted to start and needed needed cheesecloth. So I went ahead and got, I think this is three, three feet, if I remember right. Oh, two square yards, okay. I got some white rice flour, two five pound packages of that. And I got some chopped dates. I always look at the dates at Sam's and never end up buying them because I don't know what I would do with a package this big, but I saw some brownies and fudge that had these, and cookies that had these chopped dates in there. So I wanted to try that recipe. So this is a one pound package of organic dates. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. I'm already out of breath. Okay, so I'm gonna try this Nancy's Whole Milk Vanilla yogurt for Evan. It is double the cost of the one that I buy at Aldi and he is extremely picky with that. However, if you've watched my um, grocery hauls for a while, you know that I'm trying to get to where I can eliminate the grocery store and only buy through Azure Standard and local farmers and then maybe go to Sam's once or twice a year to get paper goods and things like that. So I was just curious. I only bought one to see if he would actually eat it. So the date on this today, I think is the 5th, 4th or 5th. And the date on this is the 23rd. So I also was curious on if they sent you cold thing, refrigerator items, what the dates were like. So we're going to try that. I will let you know if he ends up not liking it, the kids and I'll just eat this. We'll use it in smoothies or with granola. And then I did buy a big thing of sour cream at Sam's, but I've heard really good things about this probiotic sour cream. So I plan to cook with my big Sam's sour cream size. And then with these three, we're just going to top our food with, so we can actually taste it a little bit more. So I'm anxious to try this. It's the, the date. The date is nine, seven. So that's good. It's a whole month out. And then same with these probiotic spreadable. This isn't the whipped cottage cheese, it's just the spreadable cottage cheese. So I got two small packages. These are eight ounces and the date on this is also nine five. We used to buy kefir years ago for smoothies and I know it's really good for gut health. And so I went ahead and got one small Kiefer, I wanna say this was like six or $7. I got 32 ounces for 
um, and it goes bad in September also. So we're gonna try this in smoothies. I looked in a gluten-free cookbook and bought a lot of flours that I don't have here on hand so that I can make and try a lot of these gluten-free recipes. So this is brown teeth or teff flour, um, gluten-free. I got a five pound package of that. Five pounds of potato starch. Five pounds of tapioca starch. And xylem, xylem, phylum? I don't know how to say this either, husk. I know that this is in a sourdough recipe that I couldn't try until I had this here. Okay, and then I bought Evan these pouches to put his yogurt in, applesauce, things like that. It's cheaper to do it this way than to buy them prepackaged. We'd had a pack of these, but our dog had gotten a hold of one that we had left out on the counter and chewed it up, so Evan didn't want to use it anymore because it was kind of rough. So I got three more of those. Some xanthan gum. This is like, I was cracking up when I took it out of the package. It literally feels like there's nothing in here, but it's five ounces. The September sales flyer. I always like to look at that to get ideas for what to try next month. I got a five pound, I think this is five pounds, of mozzarella cheese, and then five pounds of the mild cheddar. I did try one other cheese, but it did not ship. Another one pound package of minced onion. I have just a little bit of this left and I use this pretty often, so I wanted to make sure I had that on hand. We only had the lime juice left, so I got three of the organic pure lemon juice concentrate. And I got some organic everything bagel seasoning, some avocado oil. This is 32 ounces of organic avocado oil. I'm using up my last one right now from Aldi. A magnetic lid wand. This is to check to make sure that your cans are properly sealed. Okay, I did the cheesecloth. And then moving away from Sam's Club, I have not purchased laundry detergent in the last few months there. So I'm gonna use up what we have. I think I probably have one month because I had quite a stockpile of um, detergent left, but I bought two different scents to try. And this says it, even though this is only a gallon, it says it yields 97 loads each. So we're gonna try each um, each one and make sure that we feel like it's working good. And then I'll get the huge bucket like I got their um, hand soap and dish soap in, but I wanted to see which one we, we preferred. I've got farm stuff out here on the counter. Sorry about that. Um, so I wanted to try some of their canned goods. I got 12 of the organic diced green chilies and then 12 of the organic whole kernel corn. I got a 25, this doesn't feel like 25 pounds. Yeah, it is 25 pounds of long grain brown organic rice. And then in here, I'm not gonna open it, it's four gallon glass jars like this that I'm growing my kombucha in so I can have more. I have a few, but they're filled up with stuff in the pantry. Okay, so I'm gonna get this cold stuff put away and then try to get back and jump into our Friday morning. Luckily, it's not even 9.30 yet, so I haven't missed too much of the day. Taste it. I'm gonna get your face like it tastes good. I don't, I don't wanna drink that. <laughs> hey, Lizzie. Taste my lime kombucha. Mm. Just one sip. Yeah. Can Lizzie do it? Yeah, Lizzie, one more. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Just one sip. Look at that. I don't want to Tell me your that. honest opinion. One sip. Please. <laughs> it's really potent. It's good for gut health. I think it would help you do it. Mom, it's literally mold. It's not mold. Bacteria. <laughs> It tastes like alcohol. 
<laughs> All right, let me get you tasting it. It's, just, it's really. It tastes like alcohol. I mean, I don't know why you want to drink this. What health benefits yeah. come from this? Really. Good gut health. Hmm. Yeah, I did. I did that one. Mmm. I mean, really. <laughs> It just keeps coming. Oh, and you want to taste it? Oh no. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, it's now the weekend and I'm making some French toast for breakfast. It's what's on the scheduled menu. I've got my sourdough gluten-free that I bought at Drug Emporium here. And then I'm gonna make up some for the kids. Brian is doing intermittent fasting this month, so he doesn't eat until lunchtime. I'm gonna go ahead and start baking the shells again to get that into the garden soil. I put a chuck roast in the crock pot. So far I've just added butter and an onion soup mix. I'm gonna add some of our dehydrated Anaheim peppers from the garden and some garlic and let this cook all day. Okay, for lunch today, it is Saturday, so we're having leftovers. And I put that pot roast in. Actually, I'm gonna make sweet potatoes. I'll add carrots to it, but we're gonna have some sweet potato casserole also. Last night for Friday night, we had pizza, homemade pizza. And so this is my gluten-free naan bread left over from our Greek tacos that I just turned into a pizza. And then this is just a salad with the, that relish leftover also. So we're walking into Goodwill on the spur of the moment. Don't know if this is a good or a bad decision. We'll see. Evan, we're gonna go in a car wash. Can you believe it? scratches on it? No, it's fine. But the car isn't even clean.
so we're going through again because Brian felt like he didn't get clean the first time and maybe because that car bumped us we kind of like rushed through it. I don't know. So we're going through it again and apparently it's more fun this time. Evan, you ready to go home and play? Yeah. Yeah? What are we going to play? Yeah. Are we going to play dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. No. Cars? Yeah. Yeah. I was actually thinking about what if we made a sticker chart where every time you go potty, 10 times in the potty, you get a Hot Wheel car. What do you think of that? He's not looking very incentivized. <laughs> I think it's a good plan. How many days would it take us to go 10 times though? Yeah. Did you get that? Yeah.